Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sally. We are out of Florida, we are up in New Hampshire this week, and we are talking about the FLIR M364C camera today. That is a dual payload camera here. As you can see, we have two different lenses on this. So we have our very tried and true favorite M300 camera lens going on on that. We also have thermal imaging. Now we get this question asked a lot. Why would we go with an M300? What would we do with a the thermal camera? This takes both of them and actually also offers a hybrid mix. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what that looks like actually on the water. As you can see behind me here, the sun is setting. So once the sun goes down, we're going to pop this camera out. We're going to show you guys some of the ins and the outs and some of the cool features of this FLIR M364. So let's go watch the sunset and see what's good. All right, guys, so the sun has gone down. It is night out, it is dark, and we are inside on board this new Sabre 43. And let's show you guys what we've got going on. Now we've already discussed the FLIR M300 and it's awesome low light capability. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring that up on the screen here. And you're gonna see, we are looking off of our port quarter on our screen here and we're looking behind us and there's a boat behind us here you can see on the mooring and this is with the low light aspect on you can see it's a nice picture right there we've got the boat we've got the boat at the mooring there we got all that good stuff but if I come into options I go to my sources and I choose the FLIR IR as we have lab labeled this you're now going to see the infrared image here and now you're actually going to see the two boats there but you're also going to notice that field of view has been drastically narrowed down. So that's something to keep in mind with these two different cameras. That M300 is going to give us a much wider field of view. So if I go ahead and kind of center this image up and get that on the center there, if I go back and go back to the uh, source and I go back to my visibility, you're now going to see how much wider, how much more area. In this case, you're seeing we have a VHF antenna in there as well as a little bit of the mast showing because we are pan back because I want to be able to show you what we have there. So if I go back though to our infrared and go back and we close that out, this is our infrared view. It's a very good view. So now you can kind of start to see some of the differentials there. And actually what I'm gonna do guys, is I've already made a combo up here and I'm gonna put these cameras side by side. Now you can really start to see the real world differences here between the M300, a thermal camera, and what we're looking at here and how much cleaner the picture is personally, I think, on the right hand side here with the M300 low light camera. Now, yes, we can start to see some things in the water a little bit better with the IR, but I think it's not worth the push to, if you're going for one or the other, I'm still personally going to strongly recommend the M300. We've yet to have a complaint on the, I don't know how many have we installed, but a lot now. But if you're looking to step up your game, you wanna have both, this is the camera to do it with. It's a 364, and this has one more cool trick up its sleeve, guys. So as I go back, and I go to a vessel, and I choose video, and now we're gonna go into our video screen. Now we are on our thermal screen. But if I come up here, you're gonna see under options here, I have IR blend. That's going to literally marry the two images here. As you see, we're going to have our thermal image and our daylight image put on there stereo optically together. And you start to see a different kind of an outline going on there. And you're gonna see things like if you had a red Aton light or a green Aton light, you're going to see that actually pop up in color on the screen for you guys. So it's kind of giving a nice hybrid blend of everything there. So again, if we come back and I go back to my combos screen here, now you can start to see we've got, again, the hybrid overlay with the IR. That is on the left-hand side there, and we have our low light there. So that's it. That is the FLIR M364 camera. Hopefully you guys found this informative. If you have any more questions about this, leave it down below in the comments. Let's see what we can do to get you guys questions answered about this new tech. And uh, oh yeah, boat show season is ramping up, guys. The Newport Boat Show is right around the corner. We are going to be there. We've got our booth. We are in a new location this year. I don't know the tent number off the top of my head, but it's right next to Garmin. So we're gonna be in the big tent across the way, hopefully a little easier for you guys to find us. Stop in, say hi, introduce yourself. Love meeting everybody when we're down there at the show. And uh, 
we got a lot of other cool stuff going on after that show. I think I'm heading down to the NEMA conference where I've been uh, selected to be a judge actually down there for new marine tech. So we're kind of excited about that. We're going to be doing a lot of interviews and talking about new tech that's happening down there in Orlando this year. So if you're going to be at the NEMA conference, we will see you guys there. And uh, that's it. As always, you know the spiel. Got to say it anyway. Make sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, share, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, at Navtronics. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.